All right. Welcome. Uh, let's do a sound check real quick. It worked. We checked earlier. Okay, oh, yeah. Good. No, it's already working for sure. Yeah. Very good. And we accidentally checked. <laughs> because that's important. Yeah. Welcome, everyone, to Section 7 of Fate, the Rise of Madness. See, I'm still thinking we are the madness that's arising right we now. <laughs> we have a few people that are on their way. Uh, Melanie, since we just moved, which is why we missed last week, uh, Melanie is still exhausted and has Worn out. a birthday kind of thing that she's doing with one of her friends. It's not her birthday, it's her friend's birthday, so it's all good. Now... Our session begins uh, with a delightful recap. Does anybody have any announcements or anything? Are we good? I mean, we're not like famous voice actors like Critical Role or anything. Yep. Uh, well, I'm writing for Weave. The, yeah. Uh, uh, Gerald and I are both writing for it. They are uh, doing a new community run yeah. playset so for the Weave RPG. I will be, it's, it's a zombie survival thing, which is right, so right up my alley. No one knows what it is yet outside of us. Oh. It's it's a it's cool a thing. it's a cool it's a, weave thing. It's, cool it's secret. secret. Uh, it's <laughs> makes it cool secret. because it's secret. That was, a, that was a real good diversion. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Was thinking that it's something that it's not. Oh, that's yeah. kind of, you don't what know what it? it is. Oh, he doesn't know what it is. I uh, uh, I dedicated no, my life no to Fallout yeah. Five. Huh? I dedicated my life to Fallout Five. It's uh, fantastic. Uh, sorry, Far oh, Cry Five. five. Holy hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is a great game. I will be getting it soon. I, I, I don't have it yet. Yeah. But I've seen it played. It looks amazing. Dude, it is All right. fantastic. Oh, he added a bunch of new guns. Nice. We get, will get segue. Up, I already have a bunch of guns, too. Yeah. So I will look over that. Well, wasn't really big the Palm Pistol, prize. the Blunder Far, Far Cry nice. 4, I like. We're Rival looking at uh, but, Matt Mercer's Gunslinger. Updated Gunslinger. Updated Gunslinger. Well, then you'll love this one. It's never yeah. yeah, it looks it's pretty rad. Uh, okay. After. Actually, like, literally, like, Montana. What? After a successful show at. The Dream Bazaar, uh, Crowley's Dream Bazaar. Yes, that is me. I the group had a battle royale <laughs> to finish it up. I have, I need to bad choices. Yes. I'm still rushing. I don't know why. <laughs> you'll 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 get back in it. I'll find it. Yeah, it takes a minute. Just after they are all healed up, some of the magic in the area went out. Like, just cut off. The lights went out and stuff. Uh, I believe it was Clank saw a figure scuttling out of one of the storage rooms. They yep. went in there. And I believe that uh, Finn. No, I didn't find it. Uh, found it? Uh, either Clank or Crowley rolled like an 18 or a 20. Oh, right. I think it was Clank. Anyway, uh, the group found. We found a thing. A thing that is weird. Uh, very clearly has some sort of mechanical timer on it. Uh, a series of wires and such as well, and two glass, or what would appear to be glass, tubes. Okay, let me re describe this for you guys, and then we'll kind of see what you want to do. Uh, we kill it! Oh, uh, <laughs> and I recognize one of the two. Krishna, which is Will, yep. and Quetzal, Bob, uh, will be here in about 20 minutes. So they're going to yep. be a little bit late. That's okay. Things happen. Work and whatever. They, they told what us ahead of time. So. Yes. There are two large glass vials connected at the tops and bottoms by metallic caps. In one is a fine, deep purple powder. And the other is a substance that seems to shift from liquid to gas to a crystalline ice-like solid and back into liquid. And it sort of repeats. Liquid gas, solid, liquid gas. It's it's the the amount of time I will go ahead and give you this. The <coughs> amount of time that it stays in a given state yeah. is random. 
So like sometimes it'll be it'll just go right back and forth, yeah. and then sometimes it'll kind sometimes of phase. Sometimes it'll, it'll kind of lag. So uh, it's it's unstable in that format. Uh, wires connect from one to another, and there is a centralized device with a bunch of wiring and what appears to be a timer of some sort with approximately 20 minutes left on it. Uh, this is something that I'm going to be kind of taking from 4th edition, known as a skill challenge. Multiple. I don't know what that is. Which, means, you, have to make which means you must make a certain number of successes before a certain number of failures. Uh-oh. Uh, I, did, I did actually really like that, that rule. Which I do, too, and that's why I stole it. Uh, or sort of commandeered it, I guess. You would commandeered! Say. Um, I won't tell you the amount of successes or failures that you need before good or bad things happen. If you roll high enough on a given thing, it may count as two True. or more successes. Uh, now, um, anyone who is trained in the Arcana skill, I, well, okay, I'm just going to leave it open to you guys. Uh, what 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 do you want to do? I want to know what the hell that changing liquid is. Okay. Is that the thing that I recognize? No. Okay. We'll talk about that in just a second. And what was the color on the other one? Purple powder. Purple powder, okay. Yes. Alright, so I do want to find out what the changing liquid is. That is not okay. Like if I've ever seen it before, if it's something we've done in an act, right, right. or if it's something I've encountered on my travels. Wrote it. Everywhere. Did you send out all the... Yeah. Good. Okay. Yep, I've got us on. I've covered us on Facebook and I covered us on Twitter, and I even sent one to the D and D group, but they haven't approved the post yet because I should have done that half an hour ago. Very good, very good. Uh, so that is a nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, that's awesome. I will tell you uh, in just a moment. I have to respond to this fellow. Okay. Sorry. It's. Uh, <laughs> It's working. Okay. So, you have, because you have a, a sort of fundamental and I, I'm, knowledge. Yeah, and I'm, of, I'm of holding magic. the sword. Oh, I'm holding the sword when I'm looking at it to see yeah. if maybe my patron does something. Oh, okay. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Oh, I like that. There is a flicker of recognition from your patron. And just the slightest hint of uh, fear. Okay, so something can scare that thing. That's not good. You have... A pretzel fell down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say that you have heard of this substance through your travels and your many discussions you've had with various individuals, magic users and the like. Um, The substance that is shifting around um, is slightly refined technos. It's not the full Artec, like what mages use to cast their spells. It's that sort of intermediary stage. So it's more unstable. It's very unstable. Like less unstable than it occurs naturally or after it's refined. Yeah. So it's like, saying. okay. So again, for those of you who are just watching, and for some of you who just have, haven't really heard this in a good long while, Technos is in everything. The air, rocks, trees, people. Like the Force. It's the Force. It's the Force. It's, it's midichlorians. Sort of. <laughs> Not midichlorians. No. Uh, so it can have physical state. It, in its sort of generalized format, is known as UTEC, or unrefined Technos. Um, or just... Technos. Technos to most people. If you prefer, yeah. Um, divine casters <coughs> use Utech for the most part. Because uh, they don't they don't have to carry around refined Technos to, to cast everything. Or sorcerers? Right. Sorcerers as well. Dru well Druids, <sighs> rangers, etc. Uh, sorcerers pull it out of the air? Or... Um, it is an innate ability. Like yeah. they don't have to have a book, but they do require okay. 
Technos. A, that the the substance of doing, yeah. But clerics, I guess paladins, because they have uh, rangers and druids and stuff like that, they don't, in general, require uh, our tech. So, um, it's just refined enough to make it very volatile and actually still function. And it's potent. In the presence of the other substance. <coughs> now, Finn. Give me. It's gonna be your worst stat, I guess. Intelligence. Intelligence check. Let's Just see. to straight intelligence. Uh, you can give me history if you have it. No. I wouldn't have thought you would have. Uh, what is? What did I get with intelligence? Nature. I got nature with intelligence. Oh no, nature's fine. Oh, is it? Yeah. Cool. So it's under minus one instead of a minus three. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, six. Six total. Yes. Okay. Total seven. That's all right. <clears throat> That's powder. <laughs> you, it's not a one. Um, anybody else that's trained in nature can do that as well. Or if you just want to make an air track, that's fine too. Would I be able to still use Arcana for this one? Yes. Uh, and I'll tell you why, depending on your roll. But you've seen a substance like this before. Yep. I just didn't, don't really know much about it. 16. When, 16? Okay. When you were younger... Uh-huh. And still in your uh, barbarian tribe, yeah. Nis Nis, the tribe of the wolf, um, they would occasionally encounter other tribes. Yeah. Because there are three separate tribes on this particular co continent, right? Mm -hmm. One of those tribes uses a little bit of uh, extra help in their rage. Uh, and it's a with the 16, you'll, you'll know this too, being, uh, having been around, it, it's a drug, basically. Um, that makes people like me go rage face and berserker and... Rage face! Tough it, as shit. You would know it's, it's shorthand name. Yeah. Which is Musk. <laughs> Musk. Uh, it's derived, you don't know how it's derived. Yeah, I don't know anything uh, about it other than what it does. Right. Or how to use it. It creates... A seething rage, and you, you just basically fight until you're incapacitated. A incessant you know, like rage, or or there's nothing like yeah alive around you. I say alive, not it's enemies. It's, no, it's yeah, just alive. It's, it's pretty uh, incessant scary rage. stuff. Crowley, uh, you would know that it's it's derived from a mushroom. Uh, which is called muscanita, which is why it's shorthanded to musk. Um, but, interestingly enough, yeah. <clears throat> the color is off. It's not normally a deep purple. It is usually red. Uh, like a crimson And uh, because you are of the race that you are, a day of fool, you know what the other part of that powder is. Why it's not red. Why it's not red, yeah. Um, there is a stone, type of stone, that is... Uh, found on the uh, uh, found on uh, Abyssos, which is the abyss basically, yeah. that nullifies our tech. That makes sense then. It is called uh, Lavik, L A H V E A K. Or La I guess it, it depends on who you who you're talking to. How do I spell it again? L A H V E A K. Now, um, it is unclear as to exactly what effect that has on the musk, but it can't be good. 
Not to mention the fact that it is adjacent to a very unstable special uh, artec, special technos that I kind of made up on the fly. On the fly. Hey, I didn't say that, man. You're DM. Pretty cool. I've, I've, made, I've had this for years. I think it's a cool thing. Well, he's uh, just yeah. willing to admit whenever it was completely on the fly. Oh. Most and that's like 90% of it, right? Most of my shit's on the fly, so it's totally fine. Um, when this goes off, that powder is going to spread a pretty sizable area. Like, it's a it's a, it's a scroll, big canister. Like a scroll tube kind of size. You said it has about 20 minutes left on it? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to look... Well, okay. We're down to about maybe 18 you're like investigating it and all yeah so i'm going to move very slowly and talk very quietly because i don't want to talk loud around this shit (laughs) (laughs) it's kind of like talking loud around nitroglycerin yeah look at look over at you guys and say i need you to get all of the people out of the tent and have the wizards tell the town to fucking evacuate now no there's no time there's no time to talk do not cause a panic go out there tell my mother to tell everyone to get out calmly, inform <laughs> the wizards and all the other ma- mages around to start teleporting away quickly. How, I don't care who he goes, far? don't. I don't know how big this is going to be. Okay. They just need to evacuate the area. I would give it a good two months. And uh, at that note, I leave. Thank you. To go start doing that. I start screaming, RUN! RUN! God damn it. <laughs> Do not shake Do the you floor. really? Do not uh, actually, I call run away in case there's any bird people around because that's the only thing i know about their bird language which no one will know except for bob, uh, bob. bob. and maybe so i yell others, but run away you but i go running around ah! Ah! <laughs> and then he would probably be like oh run away! <laughs> <laughs> i knew this was going to come back to that <laughs> that's the only word i know in this language acrobatic. that's yeah, so that was, good that was in acrobatics so. Do you know anyone in Penumbra nearby? Kane is not there. I thought he was with us. Oh, yeah, he's with he us. did the oh, That's right, that's right, that's right. I was that's doing right. the time. You're right, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I just, he, I just, remember, I just cleared that yeah. with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there anyone in your organization nearby that can assist in the evacuation or to find an expert to disarm this device? Or am I going to have to do it myself? I haven't checked in, but uh, it's, uh, I'll go I'll quickly see. and quietly. And with that, so. Is this or way in the evening? This point? Yeah, it's or, it's it's night. Yes. Or shadow it's, step. Like, okay. As it, like a mid conversation, it's like but he's like he's like quickly, and then like just dis- he's just exactly like, faded yes. into shadow. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go try, find try to fi- try to find an HQ to check in. Okay. Find someone who can. Gotcha. Maybe. That's gonna take a couple minutes. And I'm going to to well, get to it, and so. I mean I. It's not, I mean, I'm not they trained in Arcana, so it's not like I'm going to be much yeah. better use. I'm also oh, going Bob. to look at Harriet and say, tell the Easy animals Bob. to get as far away from this place as they can. Take any people that they can carry with them Easy if Bob. they're willing. If not, just run. Okay. Oh. Okay. She, yeah. she, she runs off to do that. That'll be what she's, she's doing. Right? No. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's I got, good. I got Thank you. <laughs> that that works. So, Harriet exits the tent hastily. And I'm hoping she's walking one. softly. I hope, well, I'm hoping I've, I've conveyed that message enough. She is not, I mean, she's nine feet tall and, and weighs as much, like, you know. She's weighs a lot. She's, she's weighs a lot, but she's large. <laughs> oh, as far as her, okay. her height and everything. Um, but it's not like she's big enough we to shake the ground. Does she have second like level that. spells at this point? Does she have passed that trace? Uh, uh, I think so. She, can, can, can she use that? <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. That'll make her, so, her step silent. Well, there's a bunch of elephants and stuff, too. I'm just saying, for her to get at least out of this room, yeah, quietly. that's fair. Okay. So she does that. She, she, she bounces out. Uh, and is going to lead the animals. Basically... Into the the like desert area, yeah. just like as far away as possible. Just start heading them out. Toward, Pick a direction and run. Yeah. Basically taking the road because you guys are on the outskirts of this city. Yeah. Outside of the the gate even, uh, on the other side of the sort of tent 
space. That, that sort of so thing. basically, I've evacuated everyone in this tent except for myself. I'm alone right now. Yes. Um, Clank. Give me uh, art. Hang on. Finn. I guess it would be Clank, Finn, and Quetzal go to evacuate as many people as they can. Yep. I think Finn uh, was going to find my mom. Okay. So. <laughs> because I'm assuming the wizards have some kind of shield they can put around the city, like force wall or that. Mm, you think so? I hope so. What's up, everybody? Considering they hold the trials of the magic here, there should be Where's something. Where's Quetzal at? I'm going to sit over here. Cause I don't wanna... Hey, oh, okay. uh. You want to sit next to me? Hey, Finn. Because they're on people. Are you still? Are you trying to find Genevieve? So, at first, I would have gone Let's to his mother. Somewhere. That's Genevieve. And then I would go I to find guards yeah. Yeah. and just there, try to help escort people here. out of that. Yeah. She okay. She is like very happy to see you, of course, as yep. as as per usual. <laughs> so, yes, Ma. Are you are you here for our training session? We have danger. Uh, <laughs> there's there's something really bad here. We need to get people out oh. now. Oh, and we, like she sees your face and it's like super serious. Wait, she's within thirty feet of me. I'm just telling her this shit. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm telepathic. Yeah. Mom, She's stop. Like, oh, I understand. <laughs> and she starts a tool. Um, escorting we'll people out. She says, okay, we have a situation. Uh, let's walk quietly out the front door. Let's go this way. Uh, and yeah. get far, that, that far tool. away from here. That tool. Um, that tool goes away. Clank or Quetzal. If you want to assist in that, you can. I do. I'm going to assist. Um, We're evacuating, Bob. I need okay. my, my There's a bomb. Okay. Time bomb. I can yeah. fly it up in the air like a hero. No, no, no. Not that. That. If, you, if you bring it up higher, it's going to disperse it's wider. No, it's it's, it's a, kind of like a dirty bomb. Box? Okay. Oh, this box. Huh? Let's bury it. Yeah. Alright. That's not a terrible idea. To what the hell is got a she, bag of holding. Let's just throw it in there. Oh, God. She rolls. <laughs> I like it. Uh, she rolls pretty well on her persuasion and starts to. Um, you know, people start escorting. Bless the clown. Relatively orderly. Not quite as orderly as you would like, perhaps. But um, it's not panic. Yeah, it's not panic. Um, Harriet is seen escorting the animals out. And they're just Along like, with my brother, I'm guessing. Nice yeah. new socks. Yeah. Ishmael. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Ishmael is the, the one who goes yeah. with the animals. So, okay. yeah, so I, I do want to go up to another section, I guess, that's not around the location she's gathering people. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, a, a more, uh, s the second most populated area. And That'll be in the sort of tent, tent town kind of thing outside of the gate. Okay. And they're all smaller people, I'm guessing. Yeah, like, if I use my large, I'm only nine feet, so... You would be taller than, than the vast majority of them. Yes. All right, so I, I do take off my hood initially and I gather everyone's attention to say that in an orderly fashion we do have to get out of here, get out of here. and I, I sound super calm and I'm gonna and I'm gonna just definitely you know I might call a little bit say run away if anyone understands it but basically I'm gonna say there we, are there are a few um, avians avians there and they're shaking their heads at your terrible impression of yeah ah! Ah! Uh, give me a persuasion check. All right. Ooh, nice. That is a 19. Okay. Uh, people are confused by that, uh, but they do start to, like, sort of gather around you. Come hither. We uh, got to go. Go away. <laughs> and they start asking you together. questions that you probably don't know the answers to, like magical type questions and stuff. You're just like, I, just walk over there for a second. <laughs> now I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna stop them and say again, we have to go now, for the sake to make it to tomorrow. And I'm gonna roll again to see if I that just makes okay. them shut up and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Some of them start kind of wandering over. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use. Um, my inspiration? Well, no, you, you're out of luck. No. I have one more luck point. Well, no, I mean your, your, your lucky feet. You used all three of those during the... I did, points. during the battle royale. But I can use my luck point to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> to add a d6. 
Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, then, yeah, that won't matter. So I say it, but then I'm just, I accidentally mention there may be a ball. <laughs> Did you roll a one? I rolled, rolled two. two. Oh, God. So technically three. That's bad. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah. I'm like, hey, well, I don't know, but I know that we may die if we don't go now. Okay. Uh, at the mention of a bomb... Panic. Hysteria. People, yeah. It, it starts to get a little crazy out there. Um, you're big enough that they kind of run around you, but some people get, like, knocked over. And I don't stand still. People are, people are running toward the gate, toward, like, the city gate. Yeah. Right. right. That's, get, that's what I didn't need to happen. Uh, the gate, which is uh, closed for the night. Hmm. Now, F. Kane doesn't really have to worry about that because he can just shadow step through the gate. I can fly. <laughs> or walk towards the people in the gate and just yell, destroy. Ah, and yeah. just get away from it. <laughs> Intimidate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Please don't do that. I don't know. <laughs> destroy, flashing lights. <laughs> Woo! And you'll get like 30 magic missiles. Oh, okay. it's the death, yeah. That would not be good for your health. No. So, you, 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 like, the vast majority of them move. A substantial distance away. Now. Crap. So I'm alone in this tent. You're alone in the tent with the bomb. Yes. So I'm going to <laughs> calmly take out my sword, close my eyes, and try and communicate with my patron to see if he has any idea what the fuck to do. Okay. Uh, give me a charisma check. Just straight charisma? Straight charisma. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. 21. 21 is good. It You're is very good. persuasive. <clears throat> oh. How about we not die? I have a plus five here, man. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> nice. I've got a 20 charisma. Good. Warlock. <laughs> yeah. I can see you talking like in um, Sixth Cent. He's like, <laughs> hey, there's, there's, there's something over here you're taking. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Fifth element. Fifth element. Fifth element. Wrong, yeah, wrong call number. Me, call, call me, man. Call, call me, man. Call me, call me. Call me. It's, it's a bomb. It's, it's a bomb. It's, it's a bomb. It's going down. I'm just clicking. It's taking the bomb. No, it's going down. Man, it's been almost a long time since I've seen that. I actually, I had to buy it because it's my favorite sci-fi movie of all time. I need, I, I need to watch that again. Anyway. Um, I love it. Oh, 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 oh. He didn't get yes. <laughs> a, uh, a faint it's response. And it... Is uh, you you need to disarm it? I guess it's that. <laughs> Wait. I don't know how to disarm it. I've not. Can I try? Dis- <laughs> I've not disarmed a bomb before. Uh, you're not in the room. With me. <clears throat> can I? You can go back. Run to the room and help him. So if you're walking in, <clears throat> you see me just kneeling in front of this bomb, holding my saber. I'm like, wait, <laughs> let, let me yeah. do this. <laughs> and uh, as you watch. I, I have to do it because I'm, I'm stronger this way. I go Legion form. Oh, nice. <clears throat> You've never seen this. Mm-hmm. So, he, uh, if I recall correctly... I get I go large. <clears throat> he becomes large. Like, eight, nine feet tall. Uh, his, his muscles ripple out. Um, his horns, that are already decently sized, like, extend out further. And come to very sharp points. I just want to like say like I don't think yeah, we just tricked in this situation. Get, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like cowboy exactly. Um, Strength is not necessary in this situation. <laughs> um, his eyes. Sort it's of the fact glow, that I get true sight. Glow fieriness. Of course. Uh, what is the the range of the true sight? Um, thirty feet. Say so it's thirty or sixty for most things. Thirty feet of true sight, uh, advantage on intimidation. My my strength goes up by four, which means I actually have a positive number in my strength modifier now. <laughs> Plus one. Yes. Okay. True sight, uh, which lets you see, basically lets you see everything, visible things, uh, into the ethereal plane. Lets you see into the ethereal plane, and you can identify traps very easily. All that fun stuff. <laughs> I, think, uh, I don't think the traps been identified. <laughs> No, yeah. but like if, if there's something just... invisible on this bomb, I can see it now. Okay. Uh, interestingly, 
there is. Ooh, this is a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, there is etched at the bottom of where the timer is, um, there is an insignia that you have. Uh, give me an intelligence check. History check? History, I, I will allow history. I don't have history, I have Arcana. That's my only intelligence skill. Can, well, can I do then it? Just general. Well, I can't see you can't see thing. it. You can't see it. <laughs> Describe it to me, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> that is a 10. 10 total. Yes. Okay. I rolled badly. Gotcha. Um, that's still okay. That was the DC. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> you recognize it as a symbol. Because you've been through this town before. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a... The, the leadership in Igniac has a specific insignia. I don't have its descriptor, per se, but you recognize it as that. As Wand the leader? Huh? Wand in a book. That's the university. Oh, shit. Not the same thing. Cross, um, cross sword and wand. <laughs> it is the insignia of Sotus Banebringer. Oh, we should play this outside. Uh, Super hot who out there. You, so you've heard his name in passing. I have the AC on in here. And uh, you just know that he is the, the leader of Ignoyak. Probably... He's like the secret leader. You know what I mean? Like there, there is a sort of council, but they don't have a lot of power. From just real quick, from the <clears throat> description of Legion formed, it kind of leads me to believe that um, I the that I'm opening opening myself up more to the Legion. So I'm probably hearing more voices, mm -hmm. and I can definitely hear all of my family around me. Yes. Um. I'm going to say that name through our link, just telepathically. Like, hey, if this you is can from... Find, if you can find Sodas Banebringer, detain him, and do it quickly. You get a response back uh, from your mother, who says, ain't happening. His symbol is on the bomb. That's all well and good, but we don't know where he is, or how to find him. Any of that. Wait, we had somebody special here tonight. We had the the, lead, the local leader of the Adventurers Guild. Argus Belchfire. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, he yeah. is. He's about. Uh, he is. He is helping evacuate individuals. Can you send August in to see me? Yes. If anyone knows how to handle this, he might. Okay. Uh, can we kill after that battle, Rio? No. The, uh, yes, you were healed. Oh yeah, we right. were. Okay. You were healed up right before the magic the, went out. Uh, magic went out. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Now we're about ten minutes in. Yeah, I know. We're okay. running out of time here. We're about ten minutes into this, <laughs> so. Um, so I can see. So with my true sight going, all I can see is the symbol of Soda's Bane Bringer. I don't see anything else. Like this is the off switch, or. No. Can I try to check to see Are there if... any special wires that are glowing more with my true sight going? Like magical wires? Yeah, is there anything magical I'm detecting with the true sight going that I didn't see no. without it? No, because he, he, anything enchanted doesn't work near the bond. Hello. As far as, like, our tech infused stuff. The only reason my shit's working is because it's inherent to me. Yeah. And the sword is its own source. Exactly, exactly. What up? What up, dude? What up? So, can I, um, uh, so going this way. Like thirty yeah, seconds yeah. later. That's it. Oh, I left all my shit out of my car. Sorry, Argus. Argus runs in. Step quietly. I'm a lot bigger than I used to be. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. Swing your legs to the side. Right. What? You swing your legs over. Run oh, I just have to get something real quick. I kind of pull my shoulder go. back oh, just enough for him to get a good look at it. It's, it's a bomb. It, this is. This is some kind of halfway refined technos. Yes. And some uh, some musk mixed with Lavik. Uh, uh, 
Really? From what I can tell, it's not normally purple. What does that mean? It is a material from Abyssos. <laughs> it's not as go wide at that. Looks looks like it comes from what I come from, right? Ah. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, also, uh, can you see my eyes glowing? Yes. Uh, right now I have true sight. Huh. And on the butt, I point where the symbol is. Uh -huh. This is the symbol of Sodas Baneblinger. Sodas Baneblinger. His eyes can't get too much wider, <laughs> but they go a little bit wider, and he's like, "Don't oh, blow a blood vessel." I don't know. My theory is that this was supposed to go off, and my family was to be blamed. That's what I'm doing, strong to blame. Okay. Have you ever seen a contraption like this before? No. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and for the sake of brevity and because maintaining that voice is annoying. Oh. Uh, you should try and maintain a Smeagol voice for an hour. It's oh, not fun. Well, uh, that's kind of what that does. Uh, <laughs> he relays a couple of interesting points. Uh, so does Spainbringer is a fire giant. Balls. <laughs> uh, who is the leader of Ignoyak. Why did they put one of those in charge? He is wise, but no one wanted to temperamental. Tell him to <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I'm trying to make my frying pan, but I don't take off. He says that it it could have been put there as as a as a ploy. Maybe you know, so this had nothing to do with it. But once this goes off, the the casing may not remain though. This could have just been to show anyone who tries to disarm it who they're dealing with. Give me one more intelligence check, real quick. Eight. Eight. Cool. Okay. You got it. <clears throat> I've done really good on this so far. I <laughs> failed at some point. Um, has it been more than a minute since I took Legion form, or am I still good for a little bit? How long does it it's last? It's a minute. It lasts a minute. Uh, it will fade. I need, I need to know when, because I have to make a check. Oh. It's been so long. What's the check for? It's a saving throw, otherwise the hive mind takes over and I have to beat on the nearest person. Oh. Which is our at this point. Uh, we will I'm say, also in the room. <laughs> we will He's right next ah! to me. Go we will on. say uh, I used your word, by the way. Nice. As he's telling you this stuff, it begins Run. to fade. Step, step back, step back. I do not want to harm no, you. I've still done this before, and, and he kind of steps back. But <laughs> all right, so it's a charisma saving throw. Ten. Okay, so it's been active for ten rounds. So the DC is twenty. Oh. Thank oh. you, Gerald. Oh my. I might need to tweak that. It's DC is equal to ten plus the number of rounds Legion Form was active. Oh right, because it's so like. Beast. Fucking beast mode. <laughs> it's so beast. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna leave it the way it is because you get true sight out to thirty feet. Luckily, though, it's a charisma save, and I'm really good with those. Yeah. Well, let's Jeez. see what you got. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> nice. Wait, no, I'm not. What's no, the total? I'm not. What's the total? I got a nineteen. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Okay. So. As Wait, is there any way I can use my last luck point for you're this? You're not near me. You're I'm not. not uh oh. No, you. you oh, I'm in there controlling the crowd. You, you're 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 <laughs> pretty far away <laughs> from it actually. Uh, so destroy. Make an attack against Argus. So I've, I've already got the saber in my hand too. Shit. Do you, do you have to make that every? Um. Oh, Raz? I can make the save no. at the end of each turn. Okay. So after I attack, I'm gonna get to try it again. Okay. Pop prize. <laughs> No box. Uh -oh. I messed up yellow cam. Uh -oh. I messed up yellow cam. Oh no! Give me a second. We have colored. Nothing's now. frozen. It's going to those two. No, I tripped on it. I kicked it. Oh, he was tripping. I'm about no. to say. I got gotcha. you. I thought you were playing. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Move this camera a little bit so it can see Will. This is what happens when you fuck with Will too. Corey's with me. Oh, oh yeah, camp, so we're just at. Turn it to see well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 
I don't think I want to hear. There you, we don't, go. you don't need Corey on that one. You just need Will. I'll see the back oh, of my head. Will and Tommy. Yeah, so this one's been re-angled re again. So, yeah, what kind of protein is that? Okay, there we go. We got it. Oh, okay. All right. We got some Roll that lovely attack. Some of that good stuff over there. All right, so... Pull that beautiful bean page. Motherfucker! Did yeah. someone else confirm that for me? He credit. I did. All right. Natural twenty. Good. <laughs> I assure you, Argus is fine. Hold now, on. while he's beating the shit out of Argus, can I look at the bomb and see if I can find a way to disable it? You want to yeah. get close to me right now? Give me he's an investigation the whole time. check. All right, something I'm good at. Thank you. <laughs> Why don't we let the man with 20 intelligence try to intelligence stuff? Uh, that is 10 damage. Fuck me! Okay. I'm going to roll my save again. I'll do that next time. Yeah. While you're doing that, uh, Kane. No. No. Bob's close now, right? <laughs> Hang on. I got an on. Kane, you are hauling ass yeah. to get, like, just, like, like dash, this. move, bonus action dash, just yeah. dashing the yes. shit out of it, just hauling ass. Uh, and you make it to where you checked in in about a minute, which is pretty good. Which is crazy. It's so, pretty so, crazy. So time. we're back at 17 minutes on the clock now. Like, like sparingly, like whenever yeah, there's two people go. the way, like shadow yeah. stepping, like to the other yeah. side of them. Yeah, exactly. So you make it and you check in. Then they can tell you you're concerned, obviously. What? What's up? What's up? So I think I think someone's left left a device at the uh, bazaar. So what kind of device? So we're pretty certain that it, that it's some sort of a ma uh, magical bomb. So uh, looks like it has a abyssal, abyssal touch. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's real great. Our uh, the warlock you've had, you've had me watching is, uh, says that. So uh, you guys are free regiment, right? Like, yeah, we are. Your group. Yeah. Take care of it. <laughs> you need help? He thinks so. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too versed in, in, in Arcana. Is there anyone else he, uh, here available that may be able to to assist? I am. But I'm a little shitty. Uh, does magic, like, what what are the details? So magic doesn't okay. work nearby. It's, uh, it's no, no, no magic zone. So Arcana doesn't work there. Not immediately nearby. Got it. So you need a tinkerer. More than likely, yes. I'm a fucking tinkerer. Someone dig a hole. Yeah. Damn it. I just took those tools. Uh, okay. So... Except right now in a blind rage. <laughs> we can... We've all been there. It's okay. I, I'm gonna tweak that, so like, maybe you have to make the save like twice and it sort of fades anyway. Just well, as soon as I make the save, the, the, it fades away. Right. I'm just saying, like, it'll have, like, a cooldown where, like, it, it will end on its own. Just because that's... I'll, I'll, I'll have to look at it again soon. Well, also, True Sight's really powerful. <laughs> that's fair. Now, the DC doesn't increase. It's still 20 in, in your particular case. Um, but a roll high. So I've, I've already failed this check, so you're next. That's fine. I, um, I got some. I can take some hits. The person I'm checking with, whose name at present is irrelevant, really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, kind of darts out to the back and brings out a gnome in similar armor that you wear. Yeah. Uh, and he says, "Let's go." Follow me. And, and you guys start booking out. You're gonna move get action boat. You're gonna get chat. back to there. Um, Probably oh, not as quickly. Right around, yeah, because he moves a little slower than you do. Around the time that Crowley is making his next saving throw. So I need to make an attack on Bob. Like yes. Oh, wait, did you just saving throw first? I already got uh, my saving throw. I failed. Oh, okay. Come at me, bro. Why can't I roll that when I fucking need it? What was that? That's an 18 plus 7, 25. That's a hit. <laughs> yeah. I forgot I had to add the d4 to the dice, too, because of legion form. Mm -hmm. Luckily, that's only 3 on die, so 8 damage to you. Okay. Okay. Make your saving for one more time. What is with this die? 
for the sake of uh, brevity. Give me one more. Nope. Still no? Dice jail. Dice wow. jail. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's going to fade. I'll take the left. How about this? Just for your tweaking it, if it doesn't work after three saves, it fades and you gain a level of exhaustion. There I you like go. It. I Perfect. like that. That's good. That's a good idea. That's a fun mechanic to play with. So yes. I now have a level of exhaustion. Level of all ability yeah. checks are at yeah. disadvantage. You're all wore out. <laughs> now, just what you want. I know, your, right? Uh, <laughs> at, at, at this point. It's okay, guys, I got this. Oh, what was your investigation? Oh, it was a nine. Okay, so I rolled really not, shitty. Not, not great. Gotcha. I'm willing to try again in a little bit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Oh, we're okay. So we'll be, we'll be all right. The mechanism the has, a, has several layers of different colors and the like. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, uh, I'll give you both one more roll before okay. Kane so shows up. There's no magic. Involved in this device notifies all magic. Okay. We're down to about eight minutes left. I'll investigate it. Stick it in the bag of holding. The bag of holding does not work around this device mm. because it notifies magic. So, like, all this shit just comes out of the bag of holding? Well, well, no. It, it just doesn't expand it's big just, enough to it's fit. It's just it. a sack with nothing in it when it's like that. We've had to deal with bags of holding and no magic fields. All right. 23. Natural 20. 23. Thank you. 23, 23 and 23. 23 for investigation. That was that was me trying to do Arcana. Okay. Okay. That was good. Wait, 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 you have disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> uh, it's okay. That's an 18. So nice. 19. 19. Okay. 23. And you are proficient with... In t investigation. With and Arcana, either one. And are, are you proficient in kink tools? No. I am. No, I'm not. But I'm okay. helping them. But that's okay. Uh, that's... If you're assisting me, then I, that loses my disadvantage. It's really good. Either way, it's like 23 or something. <laughs> well, I'm saying with Tinker's tools. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Come over here. Okay, so. I'm going to pull out my Tinker's tools while pull I'm doing this. Tools. You notice that um, because this, this is mechanical, there's not any sort of magic that powers the countdown or anything like that so it has a bunch of uh it's kind of steampunkish as far as its appearance it has a bunch of moving gears and the like um you do notice and this is good that you notice this that there's a fail safe in it that if you like put something in it to, to jam up the gears it goes off okay. so don't jam the gears so <laughs> don't do that don't jam the gears <laughs> got it um the wire, you're not intimately familiar with like things that have just really mechanical Bombs. <laughs> I'm a chef. Like, I get that. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, so there's not a lot that you pick up on like, which wire do I cut? That kind of thing. But uh, you do know with that 23, you don't want to jam up the ears. Cut. And you rolled a 19. 19. Um, you also see that, especially after he kind of points it out. Yeah. Um, and several of the. Oh, what are you doing? It's it's not big enough for you to sit in it. Uh, so as you, I can't. I sit. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh. Okay. You are able. Okay, there are eight wires, we'll say. And they're, they're kind of intertwined throughout the working and stuff. You are able to suss out that three, three of them you know you don't want to cut. There are five left, you're not sure. So I'm going to take out. Um, do I have just like little bits of. Like ties or something, like a like a zip tie kind of a thing. Kind of like a twisty tie. Okay, yeah. Cause like because I was like, I wire. Get, like when I was setting up the car the, the carnival, yeah. I would have had stuff in the pocket. Like so I'm going to 
take out a little bit of that and just tie it around the three that I don't want to cut. Mm -hmm. it's like, don't, and I look at you and I say, don't let me cut those. Okay. Yeah. Don't cut those. They are, they are all distinct colors, so it's pretty easy to distinguish. Um, but you suss out that three of them are not the right ones. Now, again, that takes you about a minute. So at this point, Kane shows up with a, a little gnome dude. Uh, in the same kind of garb that he's wearing. Can Black, you? dark, shaky, shady What's stuff. So I brought someone who, who, who may have expertise. And then I, just, is good. I step back and let it. Mm -hmm. won't, won't impede any longer. Like, he, like the gnome probably doesn't even break stride. He's like, as I'm saying, I brought somebody. He's probably like... I'm going to move. Running. Walking yeah. Up there. I'll just point out the ones with the ties on them do not cut. Thank you. He says. Okay. I will assist you when you need. I show my own tinkerer's tools. Okay. So you're going to assist him. I'm nice. going to assist him. Very, very, around. very good. Okay. So he will have advantage on his investigation. That's good, because that was a 1 and then a 13 plus some things. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so you're able to, again, you're able to isolate a few more cables. So there's like maybe three left. Can I tie them off? Yeah. He says, okay. And, he, and, and he, he's very gingerly but mm -hmm. moving wires out of the way. Seeing all the turning gears and stuff. Um, do one more. Okay. <coughs> Able to figure out another one. There's about four minutes left. It's getting down to the wire. It's getting sweaty in there. Like stress. I'm already sweating, and my yeah. clothes are all ripped up. I look like hell. <laughs> <laughs> Literally like hell. Yeah. I want to continue, or like. So I'm not gonna keep an eye on them. I want to try to like scan the area to see if anybody's like trying to watch. Yeah. Okay. Give me a perception check. Okay. So just in case, like, so if someone's keeping track on it. That's an uh, interesting roll. It just slid on one side. Yeah, so <laughs> uh. It's a ten. Ten total. Yeah. Okay. You, it, it's sort of, it's, it has devolved at this point into kind of mass hysteria. So, no. The only person that you really see kind of standing still mm -hmm. is Clank as he's trying to like corral people. I know like, I said bomb, uh, but I meant to uh, say yum. Like, <laughs> yum. There's great food over this way. This bazaar is the bomb. Great. I'm the bomb. I'm uh, the bomb. <laughs> Food's over here. Come people on. like start immediately running away just from you. I was just, <laughs> I was just singing La Bamba. Uh, 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 bomb. Oh, oh you stop me. <laughs> that that's great. Yeah. But fun fact for you, Gerald. Uh, my passive perception is now at twenty, though. Nice. Oh, because of because of observant. Yeah, it's like observant. That's good for Jesus you. Christ. A 20 for what, you, what is your bonus just now to perception? Plus five? Five. Yeah. Five total. Yeah, plus five. Oh. So it would be 15. I, I, I thought you added. You two. rolled a five. Right? I rolled Wait. a five. Oh, it's plus five total. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's a 10. Because by um, the, right, the observant, observant just gives you plus five to your passive. No. Well, yeah, it gives you plus five to passive and or for... Perception and investigation, and then it also gives you a plus one to wisdom or intelligence, which I took in wisdom, wisdom because I had a fifteen. Nice. And then it also. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it also lets if I can see see somebody. You can read their lips. I can read their lips. Yeah. Well, Assu uh, assuming you understand their language. What is the gnome's yes. name? Did he tell me his name? No. Okay. He, he just barged in while and the, started working. While the gnome's working, I wanted to see if my mother's still within range, which is 30 feet. The telepath can tell her, get out now. 
You don't have much time, and I don't know if we're finished. She's not in range. Is this button going to kill me? Are there any... <laughs> You're not going to get upgraded. Do do we're standing there, and it goes what off. What does this bomb do? Do I... Okay, so the tele... Tel- sorry, the telepathy works not just upon the day of fools, because it was, it was... Right. So do I sense any thoughts nearby that are wanting this bomb to go off? Any thoughts? Not within 30 feet. Can okay. I, can I no. bow and detect evil? Huh? Can I ballad and detect evil? Where are you? Before the bomb. Do you? Oh yeah, you did. He did that before the bomb went off. No, no, Krishna was one of Oh, Krishna probably came with us to help guide people to evacuate the fuck out of there. Yeah. <coughs> Big shiny person. That was my assumption, was that Krishna went with everyone with, else with not to control. stay in the refuse the bomb. The crowd, crowd control. control. Yeah. Uh, Since he wasn't here to specify otherwise. So, the gnome guy's like, down two. We don't have a lot of time left. Do you have any input on this? I'm gonna grab the sword again. Bitch fire. Give me a percentile roll. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> this comes down to luck. Do I need to, do I need to call it or? No, I got you. Sixty-five. Cool. Nice. Okay. At this point. There's like 30 seconds left on the clock, and uh, you hear it, it, the sword, the voice kind of, from the sword is kind of, uh, that one, we'll say the red one, whatever. I just snip it. I don't even think about it. I just <laughs> snip it. Just snip it. Okay. <laughs> you snip it, and uh, the timer stops. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, there's time, no, no more ticking. It's also time to get the fuck away from it. So was it the bomb itself that was nullifying the magic, or was that just a spell that was... No, it's a it's a material that's in the bomb that's you, from the yeah, abyssal You weren't plane. here for that. Um, part uh, of the powder substance was a rage-inducing drug, and part of it was a powdered stone from the abyss that nullifies refined technos. So the lands of chaos. Evil so chaos. <clears throat> that thing would have gone off. Probably would have just like basically turned every everybody into like rage demons. A la Kingsman. It would have been uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. It would have been just like that, and there would have been mass death. Shit, that would have been fun though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're a liberal that player now. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm so just sitting there like. <laughs> I look over at the gnome. I think that was the right one. <laughs> you can see, because like he he was very stone faced. So like you can see like a bead of sweat drip down his face, and he's like, I think so. So I'm gonna carefully remove the cylinder with the powder, since that's the less volatile of the two. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna remove that. Yes. Okay. And just hold it out. Uh, Kvetzal. Yep. Yeah. Please hold on to this for a moment. Okay. I'm surprised that no one doesn't. I'll, I'll grab it. Like, hold it. Well, can can we, like, uh, keep the components or some shit? Yeah, that's what we're trying. That's what I'm trying to do. I just need to separate them so if Wait, this goes off, this doesn't go off. Is this the raid shit or the anti magic shit? The this rage. is the raid shit. Yes, give me that. Well, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> <laughs> give me all the No, no, so, it's, it's the rage and the anti magic. Okay, well, that's it's cool. Mixed together. I'll, 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 I will hold on to it. That's all I need that back. The gnome is like, you'll get it back. Bags and bust you be careful with that. <laughs> yeah. Put the bomb your bolts. <laughs> when, when you remove that tube, because once, once the bomb's off, you can kind of figure out how to detach both tubes. Um, you can feel that the glass is not very thick. Yeah, I figured it would be like super thin. Like breakaway glass. Uh, it's very, very thin glass. Like test tube. So, yeah, so, so you like gingerly hand it over. Uh, and Just hold it, don't go anywhere. And he's sitting there smiling as much as Burby can smile. Yeah, and, and I'm going to have to take some of this for cooking. This is not for cooking. <laughs> I'll come up with a new recipe. A new recipe. So I, and <laughs> to the sexy the badger. One, We're going to do lots of this all night. Do, do you know of a place within the cities that we can take <laughs> this partially refined technos? <laughs> is a safe place? 
yes, do I just need, do we need to get down to the city? Do we need to, I mean, no yeah. telling what this will do. Yeah. Not a character sell that shit. Uh, he gingerly grabs it. Like, and this is a guy, who, this who, tinkerer. Yeah, who right? works with things like who, that all the time. Who works with very small parts a lot. And you can see he's shaking very, a little bit. very steady. Yeah. And so he kind of picks it up, and he walks basically, like, out of the tent with it. Yeah. And, like, and this this part takes a good while, but he, he walks it, like, maybe uh, a thousand feet out into the desert. Yeah. And, like, sets it down. And then walks away slowly. And then walks out to the range of his bow. Of his bow. <laughs> and shoots it. And will shoot it. Yeah. And, and, mess. <laughs> uh, yeah, but he's not one of us and he's expendable. Uh, <laughs> uh, a and hero. Once one of heroes. <laughs> actually. Yeah. Once he shoots the bow. He hauls ass. <laughs> it's like, like so there or really? He shadow steps? Yeah, he shadow steps. He's yeah. yeah. He just shadow steps. Real Fucking Mars. Click, click, click. click. Real Please step. Step. Bye. Yeah. And then you see, like, shadow envelop him, and then he, like, reappears. Closer to the tent. Rel, like, on the outskirts of the range of the anti magicness. And, uh, you see the arrow, you know, because cause you're pretty far out. You see the arrow fly almost out of sight and hit the ground. Yeah. And then there is this like massive white explosion. White explosion. Yeah. Like, like ah. very, very bright. And it leaves it's like magnesium bright? Yeah. Damn. And the sun shows up on the sky. It's horizon. about uh like a three hundred foot radius uh I kept that crater. You that idiot. That is like solid that's solid, that's solid glass. Like, yeah. Yeah. And a twenty minute timer. <laughs> yeah, like so it's you real bad. It for like the next anyone, it. anyone that was <laughs> like within that blast radius would have <laughs> been just evaporated. And then the people outside well, of that in yeah, the dust cloud the cloud. The, the, the dust like cloud of the madness thing. powder. And it would have just been a death fest. Not like just the environment, fucking birds. Wait, are fucked up. so I don't still have the bottle of madness powder? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm taking that back from you. No, I want it. Now <laughs> you can't use it. I want to weaponize it. No, why there can't you... I weaponize it? Seriously, dude, we need to present this as evidence he's... to the, uh, to the city, yeah. telling he's... them what the fuck happened. He's like, himself. and if he's you like... keep it and say you're going to use it as a weapon, it could be blamed on you. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of walked back <laughs> over, shaking his head, like, damn. Now we're getting cool loot. That shit's scary, man. Ever done yes. that so, I, I direct your attention to this, and I don't know if you have any way to see what Happy this birthday is. To the I have I have the ability to use true sight <laughs> on occasion. He pulls out a, a little uh, like ruby gem and, and kind looks of through it. Looks through I it. I point him to the symbol. Interesting. So does so does Bamer. Um, everybody, give me an intelligence check. Except, except I'll just pass. pass. You, you've already. Is that oh, it's cocked. Yes. Is Will it? it if it's cocked? You asked Gerald if it's cocked. Where does it land? It's like in the crease of the table. Oh yeah, that's. There's no way to do that safe. Yeah, that's cocked. We roll it. Yeah, we roll it. You can use the tray if you want. Or the, there you go. Can you see? Oh boy. Uh, twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Everyone else? 16. 16. Yeah, Finn. <laughs> Why? Don't worry about it, Finn. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Seven. We'll fill you Seven. in later. All right. Quetzal, you remember uh, that the initials SB the note. The Sackville bag were in that note. Hey, look at that. Nothing on that. I don't have that <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> was in this. <laughs> I, I, I don't know I if that's I, all of it. Yeah, it is. It was chiefly for our, for our biggest Tolkien nerd here. The plot the thickens. Is that SB instead of Sackville Baggins? Sackville Baggins. 
Gunter Midas and Ignoriac SB. So he's he's the one who's waiting for Gunter. I have a terrible plan. I have a terrible plan. So uh, involves now flying into a gate, you, lacing you, all the. <laughs> not that terrible. It's okay. Not that level of. It's not that. All right. Not a suicide mission. We're not twentieth level anymore. Yeah. That's not as you, bad. You you know. From the note, I mean, SB could be anyone, but the only lead you have at present concerning the note, SB is so does Bainbringer, uh, who is the fire giant leader of the. Well, well, here's the thing, though. From my knowledge, this this powder will likely cause some form of madness. Yes. And the last time we saw something going nuts was when Gunter was involved. That's true, yes. So he had a note signed SB, mm -hmm. and this device has the mark of Sodas Banebringer. That's enough for me to connect the dots. Fair enough. Uh, so, oh, damn it. The gnome individual uh, who... You still don't know the name still of Still hasn't given you his name. You don't even know if he will give it to you, but he still has the the mechanical piece, and he hands it to you. Wait, and he thank says, you. Not like this is me. And uh, flip it over. The page. I flip it over. There's a number on it. The number six. So, is this like zero, zero, 006 or just 6? Just 6. As in. Nope. This is the 6th one. That's my assumption. Shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, are, are, I, there, I, it, are there all the rest of us right here listening to this tape? Uh, for the sake of brevity, yes. Right, so, how many, how many just said that are fast? I'll give it back to you. Here you go. <laughs> I want to look at both ends that were covered up by the device. Does it have any marking on it? No. <clears throat> you, you mean as far as... Like a number or initials or anything to indicate this is... This um, to somebody. That's a good question. <clears throat> it doesn't have... Like, it, for example, it doesn't say, like, made by so-and-so. <laughs> yeah. Right? That'd be too easy. Uh, that would be way too easy. Um, it does have <coughs> a uh, symbol etched into it. And it is a, uh, it's a line that spirals inward. So, right, right or left? Is it, is it counterclockwise or clockwise? Uh, it is clockwise. And in the center, I'm going to draw it out myself. So it goes around a couple times, and in the center, there is a uh, what shall we say? There is an Like a like a the iris of an eye, not like the full eye thing. Just the and like this. Yes, uh, the pupil, however, has it's almost like it's X shaped, kind of like uh, a frog's almost. You know how the frogs have the That's weird plus. It's like a plus sign. Yeah, You're like a goat. I guess, yeah. Well, ghosts, ghosts just have the straight line across. It's it's not the sort of typical iris. Okay. I, I guess this is what I'm saying there. Um, do do I recognize the symbol? No, I'm gonna say no. Um, I mean, with a good history check. You can give me a history check. It's a disadvantage. Yeah, I know. All my little checks are. Yeah. That jumped out. How easy is it to get a hold of the materials to make the bomb? That Gerald, that's not going to buy that shit. 
Mm. I agree, it is. Alright, so that is a an eight. No. You have no idea what this is. So I'm going You've never to, seen it before, ever. I'm going to pull out my journal mm -hmm. and sketch the symbol in there. Okay. Um, and just, you know, larger so it's a bit more obvious. I'm going to turn it around to face the group. Any, have any of you seen this symbol before? Can I roll to see if I do? Sure can. History check at disadvantage. Uh, that is a big 11. No. I got, I got 16. 16's not bad. Bob, are you going to roll? History disadvantage. <coughs> one. Oh, boy. One. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I don't know. That's a pretty simple. Don't ask me. <laughs> uh, 14. 14. Okay. That's pretty good. None of you have seen this before. I act like I'm going to say something, and I was good. like, what? No <laughs> <laughs> what? I was like, uh, mm. Yeah. None of you have any idea. It is a completely, um, like, the gnome dude hasn't seen it. Uh, it's a... Has the gnome ever seen a bomb like this before? I mean, he knew how to disarm it, so, like... He's well, a tinker. He, he figured out how yeah. to disarm it. <laughs> he didn't know immediately. And, for the record... Alchema or uh, Crowley actually figured it out by a random luck guess. You just cut those yeah, I wire. picked a wire because they they got stuck. They were it was about to go off and they didn't know what to do. Yeah. Like thirty <laughs> seconds left, and he asked a sword. He said, "Cut that one," and he did, and it, yeah. they didn't die. Well, let's ask the tinker if he's ever seen a man like this before at all. Yeah, that's a good question. Have you, um, have you seen something like this? I mean, I've I've seen bombs before. Um, I've never seen something bomb. with this sophisticated of a timing device, though. Me neither. This is this is not an well. Device. Okay, I've seen timing devices like this, but not in a way not for a bomb. that would like trigger a bomb. So, look, looking inside, is it one of those that when the timer stops, it finishes connecting the circuit kind of deal? Yeah. That yeah. that that sort of thing. Yeah. All right. So. I'm going to, I have a plan. So, I, I, I tell all of you my theory of Sotus was the one who set up that, that shit back in, what was that, what was the town we came, we started out in? Oh, uh, I know that, sorry. The town you wanted to destroy? Uh, Fishy. Fishy. Yeah. Um, so I have it written down, so I'm going to get back and destroy it. <laughs> Gunter was in the employee. Of this Sodus Banebringer. He is the one in charge of this entire town. Okay. I can do this and I use Mask of Many Faces to look like Gunter. Okay. I can do this mm. and I can go to Sodus to bring him the casing of this device. Not the powder, not the timer, just the casing with his symbol on it. And say, and, and maybe take one of you with me. Possibly a uh, uh, stealthy fellow here. Kane, is it? And says that I found this one disarming the device, and that is why the plan failed. Yeah, but do you think. Oh, yeah, we could. I mean, yeah. We would. And that way we have an ally inside with me if he decide, if he sees through my trickery. But if not, he's the best of us as far as gathering intelligence and interrogation. Have you, have you uh, met Gunther before? Argus. Yes, we okay. met. We we've fought met, him. Met, okay, okay. Yeah. So you know how to speak like him as well. <laughs> Argus. Much. I never heard him speak. Okay, Argus well that's the problem. Argus speaks up. Because um, <laughs> you're going to figure out how he talks. Somebody can punch me in the mouth, Ooh. and I'll not sound anything like. I him. volunteer. Throw <laughs> <laughs> punch. I just we punch should, you automatically. <laughs> we should make another vial because this is um, going to break. I don't know. It's dangerous power. Uh, yeah. Make me many small vials. No. Why can't I use this to weaponize it? No. His, his this point is, bullshit. is his what point is, is every other bit of loot we find we could use, but the one thing that I want to Here's use we can't use. His point is that emptying the vial is going to be dangerous in and of itself. 
because you run at risk of becoming in contact with the substance. I'll, I'll put a cloth over my mouth or something. Look, uh, look. This, this is not, not so good. This powder. With gloves. Half of it is a drug that causes things to go insanely mad with rage. The other yes. half is from the abyss and nullifies all <clears throat> magic. Do okay. you know how terrible this could be? If you weaponize it, you become a criminal and... Do you know how useful down. it would be if we were fighting something that used magic and we needed to make it not do magic? Some of us in this party use magic. I'm not going to throw it on you! I'll bake it into a pie no, and no. throw no, it no, no. into the Listen, box. none of us can cast spells right now. <laughs> You're still gonna... We don't need spells. <laughs> That's true. Poison's inherently evil, so... And I'm not, I don't I'm know how far we need to get from this powder in order to you, still be uh, able to cast spells. Damn it. You pull out, just kind of on a whim, you pull out one of your hot pockets, and it's at the other side of this, of the scale, like it's cold in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's I'll not. Just, nothing I'll just make a pie this. with just this powder. You can't use your magic to, to make your pies. I, I can cook pies anything. without magic and just cook it into the pie. Then it's just going to be a pie. It's but not with going to have any other profit. Cool it's going to be an anti-magic pie. That, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> we need to deal with this properly. We are now working for Penumbra. We are working for the guild. Yeah, we but we have free to... reign. We can be criminals. They said that. No. They say we can bend the law. This bend is bending the law. You see the gnome uh, pull out one of his daggers. <laughs> Just waiting to see what happens. I, I think we can use this. I think it would come in handy in the future. I'm going to use... I can't use that. Never mind. I'm just... I'm still holding the damn thing. It's like, you're not getting this back. Yeah, regardless, we should hang on to it for right now. We need to find something to insulate this in that is a bit safer. thicker and safer. Yeah. I turn back to the gnome. Do you know where we can find lead? Uh, is this fucking radiation? <laughs> that's essentially what anti-magic is. Any, like, most shit can be blocked by lead. Okay. Let's, it's let's used... I mean, it's... A bit it's of some magic users use it to hide their more precious magical items. Um, some. I assuming I'm assuming it's, it's it's trials of the magi. There may be a lead light box around here somewhere. Honestly, uh, Sven's coffee shop is probably going to be your best shot if you can find one. I I I don't I don't think it's here right now though. I think it's no, it's a cart. It's like a it's like a stand mm-hmm. right now, uh, or like a little tiny tent opening kind of thing. So. Yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, Sven's coffee shop's probably... There are other people that can make it. I don't know how many of them would have it on hand, except for Sven. All right. Or, I guess, Khajiit in this in this case. Khajiit has waves, if you have coin. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he does. That's his favorite thing, yes. Um, so I'm going to look around at all of you again, and... Try and decide who might be trustworthy, because I, I, Krishna. I've given up. I don't, I don't care anymore. Krishna, can you go over to Spence <laughs> or Khajiits or whoever's and get some lead? Oh yeah, a lead, lead box. Lead-lined, lead-lined box, something big enough to keep this in, and maybe some smaller vials. Got some questions for me. What's it called? What's the powder called? What? What's it called? What's the powder called? Um, Which one? Please don't spread information about this powder around until we have a better grasp on it. Maybe we should spread information around. Until we know exactly what Sodas is planning, we don't want word to get out that we know about it. Maybe we should. <laughs> we just followed his plan. He's going to be pissed. That is why I'm going to go undercover and tell him that the plan has <clears> failed. <throat> If That's, he doesn't really know. If he doesn't know, no. then I'm the one telling him, and he may reveal more information. If he does know, he may know who el- where the other devices are and send me to check on them. I see. This is number six, and I'll show you the first description. This is number six. Yep. There are five you more move, she We don't sits. know any of the other ones have gone off. We don't know. That is what caused this entire mess to start with. We don't have all the information, so we don't want what we do know to get out. Mm. Agreed. So what I need you to do is get a lead line box, some more glass that is more heavily reinforced than this tube, something that will hold this better. Can you do that? I can do that. And I hand you, let's see, 50 gold. gold. 50 gold? That's enough to get like 50 of those. <clears throat> well, we Just don't guessing. know how much the lead line box is going to be. Yeah. That is not a common material. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. 
<clears throat> okay, who all is going with Krishna to Sven's coffee shop? Oh, well, there's a kitty cat there. There is a kitty cat there. <laughs> that's exactly what you say, too. Oh, oh girl, there's a cat! Yeah, that's I love cats. And you just walk away. I love my character, by the way. Because I can be this serious and still be crazy fun. Now, uh, let's see. So. Krishna. So, of course, before I leave, I'll observe the dimensions yeah. of the powder to get the appropriate size. That's yeah. Yep. Well, if you're getting smaller vials, too. Multiple. Like, like just we tell, what, we have what pertinent you information. Test, what you need to tell Sven is that we need like a a lead line box to hold potions in, and the vials to keep the potions in. That way he'll know the approximate size. And this is about I, I just measure out like okay. how much powder there is and try and give an estimation mm. of the amount. I gotcha. I'm not comfortable being a prisoner. What? <laughs> I mean, you would be the only one who could put off such rules, and you're the mo- one of the more powerful of us. You have. Easy access to escape from such a situation. Yeah, you, can escape from you can shadow step away at any point. Yeah, you know we're not so actually you're taking you as prisoner. You're, <laughs> we're, you're not our prisoner. <laughs> I mean, you're the only one I can think of who may be able to do this. Is Finn. Finn is big, and it is not. Considered I can go that, small. I mean, that is true. You could you could write down in my pocket, mm-hmm. but we still need. I still need to bring someone in saying I found this person disarming mm-hmm. the device. That's true. That way, Clank, so has some. Clank made. could could like hide in the bag of holding. Oh yeah, you don't have to. Breathe. I actually have a whole setup in there. You I don't have, a have TV to and Xbox. Yeah. Like I have a thing in that bag of holding. No, you don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> some rocks. <laughs> some biatches. <laughs> it's just a bunch of toasters. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, all right. Her name's Sony. Sex spots. <laughs> oh. You want to take our first break? Let me see. It's at an hour and like fifteen now. Uh, we're at an hour 20, 21 minutes in. Okay, this is a great time to do that. So we're going to go ahead and take our first break. Uh, We will be back in 15-ish minutes, 15, 20 minutes. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for Spence Coffee Shop. Mm. And and possibly an encounter with a fucking giant. Oh, yeah.